What's going on smart people? Today I got something in the mail that is going to be very useful over the next couple months. I got the book, it probably got spoiled in the, in the thumbnail I'm sure, but I got the book Conquering the Physics GRE that I'm going to, this is going to be my bible over the foreseeable future. For those of you who might not be too familiar with it, the Physics GRE is a 100 question multiple choice standardized test that covers a range of topics that I will get into shortly. This is not a test that you just wing. Typically you put months aside of studying for this test and learn how to be very strategic with your test taking habits before actually taking it. And my goal for today is to develop a game plan. How am I going to prepare for this test? And this book, Conquering the Physics Jury, came very highly recommended so I figured for this video what we could do is sort of go over the topics that are going to be covered on the GRE and I'll sort of talk about how I plan to approach these different sections. You see, according to this book, the GRE is approximately 20% classical mechanics, 18% electromagnetism, 9% optics, 10% thermodynamics and stat mech, 22% quantum and atomic, 6% relativity, 6% lab methods, and 9% specialized topics. And this seems pretty accurate because I actually did already take the physics GRE once. And here's what I'm thinking. When I took the GRE the first time, I realized that I was very underprepared for the sections like classical mechanics, circuits, and thermodynamics. Though I took those courses, I hadn't had a classical mechanics course in over three years now. So things like that just weren't particularly fresh in my mind. Um, and I think when I was studying for it, I was trying to solve two difficult problems instead of just going over the basic university physics stuff, on top of like being sure I can still write down a Lagrangian and a Hamiltonian and things like that. But the problems aren't supposed to be super difficult. On average, you have about two minutes per question. So the difficulty of each question is going to be limited by that time constraint. Now, so far, what the book recommends you do is take sort of a diagnostic test. Do one of the practice exams in the back to gauge what your weak points are. Now, normally I would do that, but having already done the GRE, and, and I, I think I know what my weak points are, so I think I could benefit from having the extra exam to take later on after I'm done studying. I think that'll help me out a bunch more. It looks like the book starts out with review. This is how this stuff works. These are some key features of this field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a LaTeX document and this is going to be my end all be all notes for the GRE stuff. Any note I take regarding the physics GRE is going in this LaTeX document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking notes right off the bat. I'm not going to try to solve any problems unless while it's going through the notes it reaches like an example or something. Then I will do that. But everything's going in the LaTeX document. I want to start to refresh my mind on the things that I've forgotten over the years. Once I think I have an honest understanding of how this stuff works again, that's when I'll start solving problems. It's against everything I believe in, but I'm also going to be placing a much bigger emphasis on learning shortcuts and special cases for certain theories. One of my weak points when I took the physics GRE last time was that I could derive any equation you ever gave. I could derive Maxwell's equations, I could derive the Euler-Lagrange equation, all of this stuff was in here. I didn't have the time to do it, and that was a big, big handicap for me. I should also mention that I made a point of being able to derive all these equations because I have a terrible memory. I can't remember equations off the top of my head, so something I'm really going to have to work at is committing certain equations to memory. I mean, there are ones that everyone, everyone knows Schrodinger equation, everyone knows Maxwell's equations, but the special case for I don't know, the range that a ball goes after shooting some distance above the ground by some angle thing, like those little things where it's like, it'd be useful to have that off the top of my head. That's the stuff that I'll try to remember. I think that the book actually has numbered equations when it's something that you should commit to memory, so I'm going to keep note of that. Now because the physics GRE is going to be such a big part of my life over the next couple months, there's going to be some GRE videos, but I don't know how I want to format it yet, and that's where you guys come in. So. Basically, there's two things that I'm considering. There could be more if you suggest have other suggestions. You know, let me know in the comments. But I'm thinking either like a vlog style thing where it's like this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm preparing for the test today, and maybe show you like you know my process. Or we could just go over interesting problems that I've been solving throughout you know studying. So when I am studying, if I come across a good problem, maybe add that one to the video bank. Be like, let's solve this together. So I'm not sure exactly. I haven't decided. So if you guys have a specific preference, you know, now's your chance to let me know. But that's about it for this video. I haven't really done anything else. I'm just you know trying to get into this. So do be sure to let me know in the comments section if you have any suggestions on the content that you'd like to see as it pertains to the physics GRE. And I'll see you guys there.